Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. Okay, um, I thought this week as we are starting out a brand new week, I would grab video thoughts for the day from some Old Testament minor prophets, all right? That means that these are not minor in the sense of not important, but minor in the sense that they're not the huge big prophet books like Isaiah or Jeremiah or Ezekiel. These are the smaller teensy weensy little books that aren't quite so famous or well known perhaps, So certainly you find passages in each one that are relevant and, and kind of well known. So I thought this first time on Monday here, I would talk about the prophet Amos. Now, Amos has got some passages in there that are tremendous, but the one that I want to capitalize on starts out where God calls these big, powerful women in inside Israel, uh, uh, calls them cows of Bashan. Now, it's not real polite to call someone a cow, but these women were like devouring cows that just go everywhere and just eat everything in their sight. And so that's the expression used for these women who were oppressing the poor and in a sense devouring the needy. And they were taking people who had less than them and people who were in difficult situations and, and feeding on them. They were eating the grass down to the nubs. They were the cows of Bashan. And they had deluded themselves. This is the way it is with sin. Rarely do we just walk into sin and say, oh, gee, I think I'm going to be a sinner. Um, it, it's oftentimes a, a delusion of our mind. It, it says uh, in, in Amos that, that God is bringing judgment on people who have followed their own lies down paths uh, of destruction. In other words, we, we, we make up stories. We, we lie to ourselves about life, about reality, about whatever it may be. And it leads to destruction. It leads us to a place that's not a good place. And instead of being sensitive and focused in on God and godliness, we have a tendency to, to do things and to be focused on things that, that are more motivating for ourselves than others that are, are deceptions in this world of reality. You know, one of the hardest things I think for us as people is to focus on what's truly real because we are able to fictionalize almost anything and that can justify our behavior and we can rationalize what we do and it's okay this time. But as we tell ourselves these lies, we wind up going down paths that lead to our own destruction. And in the process, we'll trample upon other people. We'll be eating food that we don't want to eat. We'll be those cows of Bashan that the prophet Amos writes about. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be that way. And so we need to, to live with our focus on God, on, on the Lord, the Lord who, who gives us purpose, but who also helps illuminate for us what is real and what is important in this life. And I would suggest it's the opposite of feeding off of the needy and oppressing the poor. I would suggest it's seeking out those who need help and it's helping them. It's seeking out those in need and it's helping meet their need. It's standing up for those who need someone to stand up for them. I don't want to be a cow of Bashan. I want to be a shepherd of God's sheep. I want to try and help people find their way, protect those who need protecting. Now, I hope you'll join me in this. I hope you'll just chew on this, not like a cow chews on its cud, but chew on this and think about it. How can you today live your life focused on the needs of others rather than what you want to satisfy your appetites. It's where we're starting out with Amos this week. More minor prophets to come, but that's your video thought for the day.